Last year in 2022, I made $11,771 by having this YouTube channel. Now what's interesting is less than 1% of my revenue this year was actually from the ad revenue that you get from posting on YouTube. So in this video, we're gonna go over my main sources of revenue, and then I'm gonna talk a little bit about my revenue over time to give you an idea on how long it takes to build this sort of revenue stream. And then finally, we're gonna go over some future changes that I'm going to make in order to increase my revenue for 2023. Now, as I mentioned before, I made close to $12,000 basically by having this YouTube channel. And I kind of hinted that literally none of it was from ad revenue because I just became monetized like earlier this month. So I wanted to go over the main sources of my revenue if it's not coming from YouTube itself. So this year I worked with two main affiliates and this makes up like literally 90% of my revenue and that is SheCodes and Ghost. Now SheCodes is a coding platform that teaches women how to code. I took all four classes, I became an affiliate. It's an amazing service. And then Ghost is where I host my website and I posted some really big videos on Ghost that kind of blew up. So I think that's why I got so much through Ghost as well. I also posted on Skillshare this year. Now I ended up posting three courses. The great thing about Skillshare is you don't have to make your own website or anything. It's kind of like a structured YouTube in a sense. So I posted three courses. One was a software course for construction engineers. The second was a resume course. And then the third was kind of Notion for construction engineers. So it's really focusing on construction as far as the Skillshare classes go. Finally, at the tail end of the year, I did become monetized on YouTube. So I was available to get ad revenue from the ads that are run on my YouTube channel. Now, the cool thing about adding a couple of these revenue streams is because it makes me feel a little bit more like I diversified a little bit because at the beginning of the year, I really only had two affiliates that I was really heavily reliant on and working with. And then adding these other more other revenue streams kind of helps me feel like, okay, if one of these affiliates dried up, at least I have a couple more that I'm working with. Now let's talk about a little bit about revenue over time. So I wanted to give you a snapshot of year to year so you could see like how much it increases or what you can expect if you have a YouTube channel. So for starters in 2021, I actually made a grand total of $0. So I made absolutely nothing last year. And then this year, obviously I have brought in a $11,771. So you can see like zero to $11,000. That's kind of insane. And it can just happen because your YouTube channel, you start posting, you start putting your work out there. And then all of a sudden you start making money. Now, I also think it's important to see how much videos I posted in between the two years and then how much my subs kind of increased as well. So I went back and I looked and actually in December of 2021, I actually only had 766 subscribers with 71 videos. And then I took a screenshot of like last week's subs to kind of make sure it was like a full year. And I ended up having 2,173 subscribers after a whole year and 131 videos. So you can kind of see like I added a lot within the year. So if you subtract that, then that means that I gained about 1,407 subscribers for the year and I added 60 videos on YouTube, which is kind of insane, but you can see like I added a lot of videos to get those subscribers. So it's kind of like you can't just get subscribers without putting in the work. Okay, so what's the game plan for next year, right? Like I want to make the same amount plus a little bit extra. So I my game plan for next year is to diversify even more. And so what I really wanna do is start selling digital products on Gumroad, which I started doing. And then I want to post classes on Skill, or not on Skillshare, on Teachable, because that you can self host, and you can make more money that way. So I just posted my first online business course. It's basically how to do your accounting, taxes, um, it goes really deep into my affiliate links, like even like day to day, how much I was making a little, just, just a little bit of a class left over for people who want to start up this YouTube thing, but want kind of more of the details of like what it's like to start from nothing. So I filmed that course. I'm really excited about it. And then lastly, I want to focus more on ad revenue. Now that I monetize, it'll be kind of more fun to post videos because I'll actually make money on the videos themselves. I don't think I'm gonna have a set goal for 2023 revenue, just because I feel like 2023 is gonna be another experimental year. The last couple of years have been like super experimental, like let's just throw stuff out there and see what happens. 
I'm going to do another one of those years where kind of play around with my channel, try to keep increasing it, but it's going to be a lot of experimentation. It's not like, I don't want to set a hard business goal. Of, like I want to hit $15,000 or something like that because I'm still keeping this as more of my hobby. Obviously I have a full-time job as an engineer. So like financially we're fine, but I would love to grow it more. It's just like, I don't want it to consume every ounce of my life. Now I hope this gives you an idea on how much you could make as a YouTuber without even being monetized because I wasn't monetized for the majority of this year. So it kind of gives you a little bit of hope that like you can make money different ways, even if you're waiting for the 4,000 watch hours or the 1,000 subscribers. But if you're interested in taking my YouTuber course or my business course for creators, I will link it here. I'll put the trailer up here and then I'll link it below as well.